Hello, I am Saki. Today I will show you how I made the harness for my movable wings. If you're only interested in the wings, then skip ahead to about 8 minutes into the video. Small disclaimer, it's kind of a rough tutorial because I had a tight deadline to make the wings, so I didn't get a chance to record the whole process. If you want a full, detailed set of instructions for the wings, as well as a printable template, you can download it as a PDF from my Etsy shop. First, let's see a demonstration of how the wings move. You basically lean slightly forward to flap the wings together and then lean slightly back to lift the wings back up. If you don't feel coordinated enough to do that, you can also just grab the wings and move them with your hands. Anyway, let's move on to the tutorial. Hello, this is Saki and I'm going to show you uh, my wing and harness design. So I just finished a commission for these wings and I need to make a video on how to wear them. So I figured I'd make a video and post it. Um, okay, so this is my original harness design. It's very easy. Um, I didn't patent it or anything. Open source, okay? So just take a piece of wood that's about the size of like a letter sized sheet of paper. Uh, about, what is this? A centimeter thick. And then glue a same size piece of yoga mat on the back. Uh, with I use contact cement to glue it on. And then these little brackets are, uh, you can find them in the plumbing department at like Home Depot or Ace or wherever. Um, it's right next to the PVC pipes. Um, so these are half inch PVC. Obviously the hole is bigger than half an inch, but anyway, uh, <laughs> put two of them for each one, uh, a pair for each wing, and then put a bolt on the bottom. Uh, that's gonna stop the wing from falling through. So the, the wing skeleton is gonna go through the holes and then hit that and not go farther. Uh, and then these are O-rings. Just drill a couple of holes to put cable ties through. And then, uh, well, you can't see it on the back because it doesn't go all the way through, but anyway. Um, I put, I glued the yoga mat on after I installed the O-rings. That's why the hole and the cable tie don't go all the way through. Anyway, um, there's two O-rings and then there's a slit at the top, um, which I, um, added to put the strap in. This is one belt that connects, um, that forms two backpack straps. One really long seat belt, belt, seat belt. Um, okay, this is how it goes on. Yoga mat side facing the back, cause it's cushy. It goes on like a backpack. And then the two straps here, just come and swing around to the front. I have this adjusted to like a really big person, but pretend that the buckles fit me and they buckle right there. You want to make sure that the buckle ends up on the bottom of your rib cage and not in the squishy zone because you're just going to end up Heimlich maneuvering the wing wearer if you do that. So yeah, clip it high, right? Just like right under the boobs or, or moobs. Okay, now that I've shown you how to wear the harness, I'm going to show um, how to install the wings. So for that, I'm going to clamp this onto my workbench. Um, ideally, you're gonna want, this is kind of a two person or maybe three person operation. So the person wearing the wings is just gonna stand, is just gonna stand there and you're gonna want someone else to install the wings into the slots. Ideally, you're gonna have two friends help, one for each wing, but you know, sometimes you don't got a lot of people, so. It can be done with one wearer and one installer. It can also be done by just one person, but I, I actually don't recommend that. You might fall over. Okay, first step, um, actually before the steps, let me show you the wing design. All right, here be the wing. So um, this is foam that's been coated with uh, Wonderflex. No, wait, not Wonderflex, Flexbond with, bleh, with Flexbond and then spray painted metallic gold. This is a PVC pipe skeleton. So there are plenty of tutorials out there on how to make this. But anyway, PVC pipe, that's what's gonna slide into the harness. And then I got this little flap of foam here blocking the pipe so you can't see it from the back. Cause you know, sometimes people will take pictures of your cosplay costume from the back and it's super dorky, but this prevents that. All right, so this is the right wing. Um, I'm going to install that first. It just slides, you probably can't see it. It's gonna slide through the brackets. First one, then the other. All right, and this is where it gets tricky. You wanna hold this while you install the other one so that your, the, the person wearing them doesn't like tip over. <laughs> um, 
you can also have another friend just hold this while you install the second one. I'm going to install the second one. It's going to be off camera, but it goes in the same like the, the first one. There we go. There are the two wings installed. Um, all right. And then we have one last thing that needs to get installed. We don't need a nut and bolt. And there is a pre-drilled hole. Well, it didn't come pre-drilled. I drilled it, but <laughs> I drilled a hole in the skeleton. Um, and these are going to help stop the wings from over flapping. What I mean by that is this, uh, these wings want to go all over the place and this is going to over flap. Now, I don't know if you've ever looked at a bird, but their wings don't do that. So neither should these. So I've drilled a hole there for a nut and a bolt to stop the wings from flapping past the 90 degree angle. So let me just show you how to install that. Um, lift the wing flap. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why I didn't put this in at first, um, it's going to be really obvious once I install it. You can't put the wing into the brackets if the bolt is in the way. So you have to do this afterward. So I'm going to get a close up on this after I install it, but um, you can't hold the camera at the same time. So, voila! All right, the bolt is in, the nut's going on. All right, let me get a close up of this. Okay. This is awkward, holding a selfie cam. Okay, so that's the bolt. Um, and as you can see, when the wing, when the wing rotates, oh, you can't see because the flap's in the way. <laughs> when the wing rotates about 90 degrees, the bolt hits the plywood and prevents it from rotating. I have no idea if you can see that because the camera is in selfie mode, I'm sorry. I think you can see it. All right. So when the bolt hits the plywood, the wing stops rotating. So, all right. Zoom out a little bit. That's what it, oh, where is the camera? All right. That's what it should look like. All right. Nut and bolt. All right. So that is my wing design and harness design and how to wear it tutorial. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Bye. Okay, so for those of you who just want to know about the wings, here's the basic rundown of how I made them. First, I got together some reference photos, which is to say I took screenshots from the movie, including the back of the wings. Then I traced out the shapes in Adobe Illustrator and scaled it into a human-sized template. After that, I printed it out and cut the pieces out of foam. In this photo, you can also see the PVC pipes that I shaped into the wing skeleton. Here's some of the intermediate steps, which I did out of order because I was improvising as I went. Ideally, you want to paint all of the pieces together at the same time at the end, not like what I did in the photo. Here's my roommate modeling the half-finished piece. If you want to steal the design for free, you can take a screenshot of this right now and stick it into Adobe Illustrator like I did. Or you can save yourself three hours and just download it from my Etsy shop for a few bucks. Anyway, here's the finished product. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more tutorials like this and other tutorials not like this, Subscribe to my channel.